Welcome to our today's lessons, Applications of Mirror and Lenses in Optical Instrument. And I'm your great then science teacher, Mamere Joy I. Escamillas. The top first are learning competency. You learner should be able to identify ways in which the properties of mirror and lenses determine their use in optical instruments like camera and binocular. You gonna explain also on how mirrors and lenses work in cameras and other optical instruments. And we can also cite the importance of mirror and lenses in our daily life. Let's have a review with our previous discussion. We discussed that mirror is an object that reflects an image. When mirror reflects in right rays or light bounces back with the law of reflection, it is the bouncing of light rays when it hits a surface like a mirror. We also discuss the lenses. So remember that lenses are transparent piece of glass or plastic with at least one curved surface. And with the law of refraction or where the light rays are refracted or pass through a lens, where the bending light as it passes from one transparent substance into another. Do you ever wonder why you can watch me today? Or why you can capture so many precious moments? It is all because of those optical instruments. So, all of this optical instrument uses mirror and lenses to reflect and refract light to form images. Our lesson for today emphasizes on the different instruments including their uses and function. Now, let's be familiarized with different optical instruments that we usually use in our everyday life. But before that, let's have an activity first. So our activity is called Rogus puzzle, you're gonna need to form the puzzle first or find the puzzle. You're gonna need to solve the puzzle first for you to guess the word. So are you ready? Gives me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, so let's start with our first word. We have H plus the picture minus R plus D, plus the picture, plus S. Okay, so anyone can, go, can guess what is this word? No one? Okay, so let's have this and as an example for this activity. So I have H, so I have this picture here, so minus R, so it is EA plus D, plus the picture of light, plus S. So, I have this as headlights. So, I have this at headlights. So, now, let's have the second word. So, I have this she, plus E, plus AV, plus the picture, minus K, plus G, plus the picture. Okay. So, anyone can guess? Okay, very good. If you got this as shaving mirror, give yourselves a thumbs up because you are correct. Let's proceed with our third word. The picture minus ET plus I plus the picture minus L plus the picture. So, the picture, the first picture is the magnet. Second picture is about flying. And the third picture is about lenses. Okay? So, we have magnifying glass. If you got it correct, give yourself a thumbs up. So, it is magnifying glass. So, next word. We have the picture minus L plus the picture minus N minus plus sounds like sounds like the Coke minus K plus P. It is Alright, very good. It is a telescope. 
Okay. Let's proceed with our last word. S plus the picture minus A plus the picture. It is side mirror. Alright. So, who got it? Five correct answers. Very good. You got it. Five correct answers. So, before we proceed with our lesson, let's have an activity first. So, our activity is you're going to answer the Pace the Learning Task on your SERP Learning Module on page 33. Okay. Get your uh, module, turn to page 33, then instruction follow which analyze the names of the given devices based on the basic principle that they obey in terms of image formation. If the optical instrument follow ba basic principle of refraction or reflection. So these are the examples of different instruments. Yeah. Okay, then you're gonna identify all of this. We're gonna identify all of this instrument into this table if it is refraction or refraction okay so are you done okay. let's answer your activity with optical instrument so first we have magnifying glass it is a refle reflection or a refraction? It is? Okay, so if you answer if it is refraction, you are correct. So refraction is magnifying glass as part of refraction, where magnifying glass is simply simple op optical instrument used for viewing details of object with some magnification. So, magnifying glass also uses uh, convex lenses because they, those lenses cause light rays to converge creating a virtual image on retina of the eyes. It also a contextless in convex means curve outward like a spoon or a dough of sports in Beijing. So let's proceed with our second instrument. So we have camera. So is it a re reflection or refraction? It is a refraction. Very good. You got it right. So you have camera. It is a box-like device used for taking pictures. It is also used lenses that produces a real image on photographic film. A camera uses a convex lens to make a reduced image of an object. What is the difference between camera and a human eye? So, camera uses lens, right? Uses lens and it can be adjusted by the photographer. Why in human eye, the ciliary muscles maintain the internal focusing of the lens. So it means that in human eye, the ciliary muscles that process the image and it depends on the ciliary muscle adjust the light to form the image. So let's proceed with our third instrument we have telescope okay so telescope is for is under what anyone can guess all right very good who say it is refraction give yourself a thumbs up because it is part of refraction telescope are meant for viewing distant object, producing an image that is larger than the image that can be seen with 
the unaided eye. So, just it means that this optical instrument allow us to see distance object. And undoubtedly, one of the most important investigative tools for astronomy. We have binocular. Binocular or optical instrument that has two telescopes mounted side by side and aligned to point in the same direction, allowing the, view the viewer to use both eyes. Binocular consists of uh, two pair of telescope mounted together, each having an objective lens and an eyes piece. Let's proceed with did you know that Galileo Galilei often credited with the inventing of telescope but actually he did not? Why? Because Galileo Galilei was the first to use the telescope systematically to observe the celestial objects and record his discovery. He was the first to see the creators of the moon and he also discovered the sunspot. He was also observed the four largest moons of the planet Jupiter. And lastly, he, he also tracked the faces of Venus. Alright? And let's now have the credit to Mr. Hans Lippershe. She, uh, he was the first telescope. Uh, he, was, he was the first who created the telescope in Netherlands in 1608. So let's now proceed with our fourth optical instrument, which is the microscope. Students, it is a reflection or refraction. Okay, so... If it is, it is Microsoft hard art for you students, if you answer it, it is refraction. So we have microscope as a compound microscope that uses multiple lenses to magnify image for an observer. It is also made of two corner lenses. The first, the ocular lens in which is close to the eye of and the second is the objective lens this optical instrument uses multiple lenses to enlarge the image of a sample let's now proceed with our fifth instrument it is eyeglasses so it is refraction or reflection it is very good. It is refraction. Our last instrument for refraction is eyeglasses. So we have eyeglasses that also known as spectacles or glasses are vision eyewear consisting of glass or hard plastic lenses mounted in the frame that holds them in front of person's eye, typically utilizing a bridge over the nose and hinge arms with the rest of the ears. So the purpose of the eyeglasses is to improve the vision of a people. So we can have the vision of the people as nearsightedness or farsightedness. So if you are in nearsightedness in medical term you you are you have the condition what we call myopia. Yeah. This means that your eye lenses create images in front of light, sensitive retina in your eye and so you need diverging concave lenses to move the image further back. But if you're if you are a farsightedness you have a hyperopia. The lenses in your eyes will produce an image farther back than your retinas, so you need a converging lens to correct this issue. So let's now proceed with our next instrument, which is the headlights. It is 
part of of course it is part of reflection so very good students it is reflection so remember that headlights are light with a reflector and special lens mounted on the front of the vehicle to illuminate the road originally called headlamp and it is the term for the device itself and headlight is the term for the beam of light produced and distributed by the device so the important thing of or the point of use of headlights is on the vehicle when people first started driving vehicles headlights were used to light the way during the dark hours of the day or night without headlights drivers were unaware of road hazard that may damage their vehicles let's now proceed with our shaving mirror as optical instrument it is under reflection very good so shaving mirror is can be either be concave or convex or plain mirrors a shaving mirrors give an enlarged Im image and the mirror is concave you must have your face within the focal length of the mirror to get an upright and enlarged image the concave mirror is used in the case of shaving mirror why because when the concave mirror is placed very close to the object the magnified and virtual image is obtained so let's now proceed with side mirror it is part of of course reflection it is a side mirror a side mirror is also called as a wing mirror. The primary function of the side of, is to eliminate blind spots by reflecting objects into the view of driver that he or she otherwise cannot see. So, the the third, uh, I mean the next instrument is the ophthalmoscope this one the last one this is the last one for optical instrument and it is part of ophthalmoscope so ophthalmoscope or ophthalmoscopy also known as podoscopy is a test that allows a health professional to see inside the fundus of the eye and other structure using an ophthalmoscope or fundoscope Fundoscope. So, this optical instruments, as of 2010, mirror and lenses are so prevalent, prevalent that people, most people, use them every day, whether they consciously using it or they not. So, perceive the use. The they are standards. And innovative uses of mirror okay. now after this discussion let's have an activity of what you should what you have learned with what we have discussed but before that who gets the nine perfect score for our previous activity give me a thumbs up all right very good so congratulations students for perfecting the for a perfect score for your previous activity now let's have an, another activity it's also a part of in your self-learning module turn on page 34 and find page a learning task form so you're gonna need to answer this question in one whole sheet of paper Okay, so are you done? Let's answer the first question. Alright, so the first question is what are the different 
properties of light that apply to the image formation of optical devices such as mirror and lenses. So, the different properties of light that apply to image formation of optical devices such as mirror and lenses are reflection, refraction, and also part of this is diffraction, interference, polarization, dispersion, and scattering. So, if you have the reflection and reflection, you are correct. You have two points. Next one. The process of how images are formed in a camera is similar to that of our own eyes. What do you think is the difference between a camera and a human eye in terms of process of image formation? Anyone can share your answer? Okay, so very good. The difference between a camera and a human eye in terms of process of image formation are human eye have ciliary muscles maintain the internal focusing quality of the lens while in camera lens can be adjusted by the photographer. So next one, why do you think the primary or objective lens of refracting telescope should have a longer focal length? So the main reason why the telescope or refracting microscope have a longer focal length it's because light gathering power of a telescope is directly proportional to the area of objective lens thus the longer the focal length the larger the image let's have the number four question so, what is the advantage of using convex mirror as a safety mirror placed on blind corners or area with limited visibility? So, the advantage of using a convex mirror as a safety allow for up to 180 degrees of the sun and can be used to view at an angle to reduce accident around blind corners and doorways. An example, convex mirror are effective when viewing aisle traffic in a store or a warehouse. So, let's proceed with our last question. What are the advantages of using optical instrument in our daily activities? So, share your experience. Who can share about it? Anyone? Okay, so thank you for sharing your, your experience with optical lenses. But, we use it every day in everyday life. Like, one of the advantages of it is that we can capture, record so many precious moments in life, in our life. Like, what? Your first date with your boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Okay. So, let's have the summary of what we have discussed for today. So, lenses and mirrors have several applications in our day-to-day -day life. People often confuse with two devices. They look similar, but they are entirely different from each other in terms of purpose and usefulness. Optical instruments are based on optics they use mirrors and lenses to reflect and refract light and form image. Optical instrument and flat surface uses mirror to reflect light. So, it is, the, the optical instrument used for it is the side mirror, shaving mirror, and the ophthalmoscope. And also, in lenses, it is used to refract light used in the following instrument in eyeglasses, magnifying glass, binocular, telescope, and the cameras. So, after this, uh, since we already discussed regarding this optical instruments, let's have the assignment for your assignment. You're gonna, you're gonna personal mess, you, you're gonna send to me the answer into personal message into my FB account so that I can check it. So, the answer for concept map below is in a one whole sheet of paper. In your uh, weekly home learning plan, it is your um 
it is your reflection for what we have discussed for this week. So, you copy this concept map, then you answer it. Okay? In one year sheet of paper. Take a picture and then send it to me. Okay? So, thank you students for your first participation. Before I end this discussion, let me review first a quote from Ernest Holmes. He says that life is a mirror and will reflect back to the thinker of what he thinks it is. So, if you if if you really want to be a successful something, you need to think of it right now when you are facing the mirror. Okay? So, thank you students and till our next session.